Hey, what's up, everyone? It's RC Talks All Things Basketball back with a brand new video. Wanted to talk to you guys about my Las Vegas Aces. And if you're an Aces fan, stay tuned. If you're just a WA, WNBA fan, welcome in. You should know the Aces. So before I get started, like, share, subscribe. And with that being said, leave a comment. Really, if you hit the like button, that would just be amazing. But let's get right into the story, okay? So we're going to talk about the Aces. Um, a little turmoil in paradise. A little bit of trouble going on in paradise. So my Las Vegas Aces on court are doing fine. Record-wise, sitting at 21 and 2, I believe it is. Everything's looking really, really good. We might actually be 22 and 2. Let me double check really quick. But while I'm checking, we are going to talk about Candace Parker. And, of course, we're going to talk about Raquana Williams. So, you know, yeah, we're 22 and 2. My bad. We are undefeated at home 11 and 0 what a quite an amazing feat that is 24 games into the season um you know it's a 40 game season just 16 to go and you know we are we're looking great and uh we're 11 and 2 on the road 13 and 1 in the conference but we're not here to talk about the record like i said we're doing great on court but off court we have an issue, having a glaring issue going on with Raquana Williams. And as it pertains also to on court and off court, Candace Parker is uh, now out with a foot injury. Um, I, I thought it was originally an ankle injury, but she has a uh, broke bone in her foot and she had a fracture in her left foot. So she had to undergo surgery. And like I say, the season is almost a third of the way through. So I don't know if she's going to come back in time. But, you know, let's let's talk. Let's just really dive into this thing. So first off, Candace Parker, um, she was looking uh, really well. She was looking really acclimated to playing with the Aces. You know, she she was fitting in seamlessly after a bit of a rough transition uh, at the beginning of the season. And I won't say rough, but uh, it just took a little bit of time for her to kind of get her her, uh, you know, her her place, her footing, you know, on uh, on the court playing with a brand new team. Um, but but eventually and quickly she would adapt to playing with such magnificent star players um as as some of the places that the players that the aces have like Aja Wilson, Kelsey Plum, Chelsea Gray. Um also before we really uh get too deep into Candace and and uh Raquana, big shout out to Kia Stokes. Um in our last victory she had a major 17 rebounds and a big win over the Chicago Sky. But going back to Candace, um Am I concerned that we don't have Candace? Um, well, not not too much. Not uh, I would say one in ten. My concerns on no CP three Candace Parker. Uh, I probably would just go maybe maybe three four. I'm not you know terribly concerned. Um, because I I, I just feel like we have we have some depth. Um, we don't have a lot. But we do have Australian, um, a big Kayla George. Um, we still have Alicia Clark, um, who got a little nicked up in the last game, but um, she should be able to go. Um, we do have Ashley Jones. We just signed her. Um, I believe she can be a, a much needed um, insertion. Insertion. Uh, am I saying it right? And excuse me. Insertion of youth on this team. Um, I believe that uh, I believe that if we need Ashley Jones to play a bigger role 
then I feel like she can, she can get involved. Um, she, of course, she's getting acclimated with, you know, the way we play the game. And so far she has only been in and, uh, you know, trash moments, trash minutes, but, um, you know, she is a player that, that is capable. Um, at least she was highly capable, capable at Iowa state. And, uh, she's a young piece. Like I say, brings some youth to this, to this team. Also, we have, uh, uh, Kirsten Bell as well, um, good three point shooter. Um, you know she she's a really good role player, um, and so like also, I, and I said this, but you know AC the veteran Alicia Clark, um, she could really help um, in terms of versatility. You could uh, slide Asia to the center spot. You could play uh, Alicia Clark at the five, you know, or you could just you know start Kia Stokes, which is more than likely. I think what's really going to happen is we really going to have to probably depend on Kia Stokes, um, who has great defense. And as you can see in her 17 uh, rebound game, she is capable of crashing the boards with the best of them. So, <clears throat> so that's going to help a lot. That definitely will help a lot. Um, having Kia Stokes, uh, obviously, offensively, Candace Parker's, you know, better than Kia Stokes on uh, the offensive side of the ball. But you still got big time scores: Chelsea Gray, Chelsea Plum, Asia Wilson, Jackie Young. So you know we should be, you know, more than okay on the offensive side of the ball. But um, you know, we we were able to get it done last season, and, and we didn't have you know Derek and Hanby, um, you know, a, a good chunk of the time there, and so you know we know that we can we can uh, you know, make up with the core four. You know, we know that we can get it done. So we're just going to have to stay strong. You know, amongst the turmoil that's hitting us right now, um, I really just believe that that we uh. You know that we can just continue to play our game, make small adjustments. Um, like I say, I believe in Ashley Jones, so whatever that counts for, perhaps they go out and sign another player. Um, in my dream world, I was kind of wishing we would get Bria Bill, but I, I don't think they'll take on two young players on a team that's definitely trying to repeat. And I'm just not, you know, I'm just not terribly worried. Um, it would be nice to have Candace Parker. Of course it would without injury, but I'm not. I'm not highly worried at this time. But what I am worried about is Raquana Williams. I'm worried about the fact that she was charged with, was it 10? No, let me make sure I get my facts straight before I, she was charged with nine counts of uh, domestic violence um, against her girlfriend, uh, or her wife, should I say. Um, and that is definitely no bueno, no good. Um, it says that she faces five felony charges, including multiple counts of domestic, uh, by strangulation, uh, threat or use of physical force, assault with a weapon. Yeah, she was just, um, uh, she was just doing the most. Um, and I heard she had been in trouble, uh, before previously so Raquana I hate to say this guys we an organization that's before I get to it let me say this we we an organization to all my Aces fans WA WNBA fans that support and and just you know like the Aces love the Aces we've been through a lot the, the Hamby ordeal Becky Hammond's getting suspended now Candace Parker get hurt now, Raquana Williams' story comes out and breaks news. I'm just gonna say this: I don't think I don't think Raquana Williams, you know, she I don't I, I just don't feel like she's coming back. I can't see a situ situational scenario where she will come back to our team, and I'm not gonna sit here and say she she needs to come back. Um, at some point, maybe she she deserves another chance. We just have to wait and see how this plays out. She has been suspended from from basketball team activities. Uh, I just don't know. Um, it's not a good look. Um, and so I, I don't feel like she's ever going to play ball again for, for the Aces because this is serious business. Girl, man, woman, child, anybody getting uh, physically abused, there's no bueno. It's, 
it's just not cool. It's just not right. Uh, Raquana moved from a place of emotions only. So now she has to, you know, take take the, the punishment only. If this is all true, allegedly, you know, um, that's what they're saying. And, you know, it seems like, you know, this happened. And Raquana was not playing. She was out with a back injury. So who knows? Maybe too much idle time. But I'm no one to judge. I just know that this is not kosher for uh, the team that already has a damaged reputation. And before I close, I like to say this. I, I think the more that, you know, the onus is put on us, the harder it becomes to repeat because it's not an easy job trying to repeat and staying focused. And, you know, it happens, you know. I mean, even Shaq and Kobe lost to the Detroit Pistons. Like, you just you never know. You, you don't know. So there are no guarantees of nothing. We could literally finish the season when the last 16 games go 40 and two or excuse me, go 38 and two. Suddenly I can't count, <laughs> but we could go 38 and two. And if we lose uh, the WNBA championship, well, you know, Season wasn't wasn't a success because, you know, we we just didn't defend our crown successfully. So, you know, a lot of a lot of people are going to be gunning for the aces. Um, people don't like the way Hamby was done. People don't like how Candace came over to a team that was already, you know, built to win. People don't like Becky and don't like her attitude, don't like the way maybe she coaches or feels like, you know, she stepped into a job that was perhaps too easy. You know, now the Raquana Williams situation, you know, so it's going to be tough. Um, I like I like our chances. I definitely like our chances, but it's going to be tough. Um, so for me. Well, Las Vegas Aces just have to continue to to play basketball with the players they have, um, share the rock, you know, don't be afraid to try different lineups. Um, if anybody has room for error, it's us. So, you know, if we lose a couple of games on the bright side, it won't hurt us going in the long run. We could literally win only three of the next five games and we will still be uh, 25 and four. So, you know, we just got to stay the course. You know, nobody said trying to defend the championship would be easy. And you can't predict what players are going to do. You can't predict injuries. But um, now's the time that we may see players like Kirsten Bell, perhaps even Ashley Jones. Um, we may see other players step up. We're not extremely loaded in depth. Um, we're, you know, like we're not extremely loaded in terms of having, you know, that bench that, that we, that we probably should have, but, you know, I like like the players that we do have coming off the bench. And I just kind of wish this team would go out and maybe add a Bria Bill, but maybe they'll, they'll go out and add Tina Charles, who <laughs> I'm not a big Tina Charles fan, but she would actually help in this situation. You know, because one thing is for sure, if 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 we lose anybody else, things are going to get a little bit tight, you know, so we just got to make sure that, uh, you know, keep our players healthy, stay out of trouble, try to stay out of try to stay out of the headlines. That's the most important thing, because the aces make headlines and, you know, we want to make sure that no more problematic stories are popping up. With that being said, guys, hey, I hope you like this Las Vegas Aces content. Um, I hope Candace Parker will heal um, and, and be able to come back this season or the next. Hopefully, she can give it at least one more year if she can't make it back. Um, even though Raquana's situation is messy, um, you know, I don't. I hate to see people falling down. So hopefully, she gets the help she needs and. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got, guys. I want to thank y'all for watching. Like the video, share the video, subscribe and comment. I'm out. Peace.